In the ancient city of Cyprus, during the vibrant era of 300 BC, a captivating tale unfolds centered around a man named Zeno. Zeno, a remarkably wealthy trader, thrived amidst the bustling trade routes that connected Phoenicia to Piraeus. However, fate had other plans for him. Picture this, a treacherous voyage, a shipwreck, and the loss of his entire fortune, all in a single, devastating moment. How would you react if your life's work were abruptly snatched away by the relentless force of nature? Anger, sorrow, a sense of injustice, these emotions would be a natural response for most. But Zeno, the father of Stoicism, defied convention. For Zeno, adversity became an opportunity for enlightenment. Stoicism, a philosophy he crafted after immersing himself in the teachings of great minds like Socrates, became his guiding light. Zeno's philosophy revolved around the notion that although we lack control over external events, we possess the power to shape our internal reactions. Rather than succumbing to despair over spilled milka in Zeno's case, drowned goods he chose to remain composed and calm, defying the very essence of his misfortune. But Stoicism is far more profound than the popular image of emotionless individuals. It is a way of perceiving and comprehending the world, a timeless approach to life. Stoicism empowers us to transform negative experiences into opportunities for growth, shaping our unique perspectives. And in the spirit of inclusivity, the Stoics openly shared their wisdom, believing that its benefits should be accessible to all, from the lowliest slave to the mightiest emperor. Epictetus, an individual once enslaved, but later liberated, Seneca, a renowned statesman, and Marcus Aurelius, a Roman emperor of unrivaled power. These luminaries of Stoicism exemplify its enduring influence. The Stoics also championed unity, equality, and cosmopolitanism long before these ideas became ingrained in modern society. They rejected the segregation of any kind, celebrating diversity and fostering a sense of global citizenship. In a world rife with unexpected twists and turns, our emotions often obstruct our path. The Stoics teach us that our sadness stems not from misfortune itself, but from its unanticipated nature. Rain, for instance, is a natural phenomenon with numerous benefits, yet caught without an umbrella, we find ourselves drenched and dismayed. Stoicism encourages us to anticipate and accept that the worst possible outcomes are not only plausible, but inevitable. By embracing this mindset, we cultivate resilience and gratitude, knowing that we can endure and flourish, regardless of the challenges we face. Stoicism challenges the prevailing notion that external possessions determine our happiness. In an era consumed by materialism and relentless advertisements, Stoicism stands as a beacon of wisdom. It reminds us that true fulfillment lies in minimizing our desires and appreciating the intrinsic value of being human. Our pursuit of external validation, whether through possessions or accomplishments, places our happiness at the mercy of volatile external forces. Cars break down, disasters strike, and relationships falter. Instead, we should seek contentment within ourselves, anchoring our joy to our inherent worth. The core principle of Stoic philosophy lies in the dichotomy of control. Epictetus aptly described it as the space between stimulus and response where our power to choose resides. Stoicism teaches us to differentiate between what is within our control and what is not. By focusing on what we can influence the choices we make way cultivate resilience and fortitude. Stoics judge the success of their endeavors not by external outcomes, but by the effort they invest. Trusting the process even in the face of uncertainty, living with less becomes a pathway to liberation from the shackles.